Hey everybody! So no matter where you are in your yoga practice, it's always a good idea to start from the fundamentals. And I think what happens is we're so locked in forward and then you come to a yoga class or you join me and you don't really know, your body just never opens up. But today, I wanted to take some time, really taking the time, deliberately opening you up in a way where you can relax down into your body and really tune in. I have some props for that. So I have a block. We have these available with the links in your member zone. So please, please go there. If you do not want to buy them from me, you can find them just about anywhere. They're yoga blocks and yoga straps. Okay, so I want you to place it at the head of or top of the mat for your head support. And then I want you to put it like sideways um, for one of the mat. And this is intended to go um, right on your spine. So we're going to start out lying on our backs and be very, very gentle that the end of this back or the, the second block that's on my spine doesn't... Um, end right at my low back but it's going to be between my shoulder blades and gently go down and rest your head and so lift bend your knees and lift your bottom and place yourself where you need to go see this block is too low for me so i'm going to sit up and i'm going to place it closer to my head block right there so i'm going to go ahead and place myself back and bend your knees so that you can easily maneuver yourself over and I want it right between your shoulder blades. Oh, feels amazing, guys. Really opens up the chest and head is relaxed. And I like to have my hands here. And right now, it just so happens that block is sitting right, um, really ends right at where my sore spots are between my shoulder blades. I'm going to lift my bottom up and see if I can go a little bit further up. Oh, feels awesome awesome so you guys have to play around to see where that is for you i'm gonna ra uh, raise my arms up overhead to get like a deeper stretch and having my hands together and then lowering down my elbow and we're just gonna stay here for a little bit and if you guys do want to bring your feet together open your knees wide and just hang out here for a little bit so if such poses any of the sequences that I put together, if they are not very comfortable for you, please, please, please comment in the section. Come to our Facebook group or comment um, below in the forum sections of your lessons so that we can know, you know, sort of adjust accordingly and give you tips and hints if I get to them, right? So if you don't say anything, I would never know. But it's usually an easy fix, and I can give you guidance on how to do it so you don't have any pain. So just relax. This feels amazing, you guys. And if you, some of you, when you have your arms up here, some of you might feel like your hands went sleep. There's a lot of nerve pathways right under the arm, like armpit. It's called the brachial plexus. And they and exit the spine down at the base of the skull down to the sides of your neck spinal segments or spinal bones right and then they innervate and they make like a big huge freeway down to the tips of your fingers allowing us to voluntarily activate and do whatever like eating you know whenever we want to do something we don't really think about it do we but it's the dexterity that develops from practice and cultivating those neural circuitries so what we're trying to do is to really strengthen and the ones that we need and really stretching the parts that we need so that we can have a little bit more flexibility okay so with this my knees are wide I want I want to just bring my knees close and open them wide nice and slow as you inhale and exhale inhale allow the knees to drop and exhale Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. 
Good. Just allow the knees to fall. We're just going to be a few more seconds here. Wow. And I'm just going to just raise my arms up overhead because it just feels so good. You guys, go do this at least once a day. It's amazing what relief you'll get and how improved your posture can be. Bring your arms down by your side, close your knees in, and gently, you can either roll off the side, or I'm just going to choose to use my elbows to come up nice and slow. You almost have to like let your spine settle, because we're so used to being here. After being in that position for an extended amount of time, you have to realize all these muscles have stretched, but more importantly, on the back side of your spinal columns, it's sort of shifted backwards in a very unfamiliar position. So your body's going to like speak out at you to say, what have you done? That feels a little weird, but that's what happens. So with that, I want you to bring I showed you in the last session last week how you can open up your hips, but you can go ahead and sit on this block and extend your legs out to the side. This way you can be nice and tall and walk your um, hands forward to create this nice opening, taking a deep breath in and exhaling. Taking a deep breath in and exhaling. I don't need this block, so I'm not feeling a stretch at all. So I'm going to get rid of the block. But those of you that are able to open up a little bit more into your hips, please do so. I'm going to walk my hands forward a little bit and take a deep breath in and exhale. And take a deep breath in and exhale and walk my elbows forward a little bit. Enjoy the stretch. <laughs> and back walk your hands back slowly and with that let's go ahead and sit comfortably and loosely bring this block and carry it long way this way bring your hands forward we're just going to go ahead and inhale up and gently exhale down inhale up and exhale as you exhale your arms down really activate your core inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down inhale up and exhale down inhale up and exhale down hold it there we're gonna rotate to the right and back left and back so when you rotate to the right you should feel it on the left torso and back and when you go left you should feel it on the right and back right and back left and back right and back key thing is to make sure you're sitting up nice and tall three two and one and back and grab a hold of it from behind I'm going to sit sideways so you can see from here feel free to keep the um, elbow slightly bend bent you can't, like if you notice that I'm having a hard time like squeezing into my block because it's a very difficult, it's a very weak muscle for me. So I'm just going to raise it up and down. And it's a lot, isn't it? Two, sitting up nice and tall. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Hold five, four three two one and release good job let's sit up nice and tall raise your arms up overhead reach for the right elbow or left elbow with your right hand and pull that right elbow down toward the back sitting up nice and tall take a deep breath in and exhale stretching into this left side left back arm muscles take a deep breath in and exhale 
take a deep breath in and exhale lower down right arm reaches up and bend and pull down take a deep breath in and exhale take a deep breath in and exhale take a deep breath in and exhale last one inhale and exhale bring your arms down by your side we're gonna go ahead and lie on our backs for a final stretch and a little bit of core so go ahead and lie on your backs gently and this time we did a lot of the arms so now let's shift gears a little bit and work into our legs so what I want you to do is go ahead and get this um, lengthwise and place it between your inner thighs and then I want you to go ahead and lift your knees up like this and immediately upon doing so you're gonna feel a lot of core control here so the further knees are away from you it's going to start to arch your back and you're gonna feel like you're gonna hurt your back so don't do that draw the knees up toward your chest and gently all I want you to do is pull the tailbone up and down you barely see that if you're able to keep your knees straight do so if you feel more comfortable with knees bent please do so it's up to you. I'm gonna lift my heels up. I'm gonna gently tuck your tailbone over toward the ceiling and back, barely moving anything. Making sure that when I do lift up my tailbone that my core doesn't pooch out. One and down, two and down, three and down, four and down, five, and down six down seven eight nine and ten hold five four three two and one and bring it down and let go of this block this time we have a little strap you don't have to get a fancy strap but certainly we do have that available for you just any type of a belt or um, you can probably find something at your home so I want you to strap this on the um, arch of your foot the right foot in this case I want you to extend the heel away from you many of you are not able to do this so close you might be here and that might be okay that might be all that you need but I want you to bring the toes up toward your shin I'm gonna go where I need to go take a deep breath in and exhale 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 I'm going to go ahead and straighten my left leg I'm gonna grab a hold of the straps with my left hand right the strap is on my right foot I'm gonna grab a hold of it from my left hand I'm gonna take it over to the left side and I'm gonna look over the right side and take a deep breath in and exhale as you do this this can be a little bit much so feel free to bend your knee and maybe hold the knee and that's totally fine take a deep breath in and exhale take a deep breath in and exhale gently pull it back and we're gonna switch bring this strap on the arch of the left foot grab a hold of it toes heels kick away from me keep losing this mic kick the heel away from me and take a deep breath in and exhale take a deep breath in and exhale kick the heel away take a deep breath in and exhale straighten the right leg we're gonna go ahead and grab a hold of this with my right hand this time the strap is on the arch of my left foot I'm gonna grab a hold of it with my right hand remember you can bend your knees it doesn't matter I'm gonna choose to keep it straight I'm gonna take it over to the right side as I look over my left side Take a deep breath in again listen to your body this might be uncomfortable for those of you who struggle with stability in your spine so keeping that knee bent might be good and if this is still too much for you 
What I want you to do is just stay center and draw the knees up to your chest. And that's the extent of that. And don't feel bad. And don't compare. There should be no judgments, no self berating, and no negative talks to yourself. Okay? Bring it back and let go of that strap and leave it off to the side. And bring both knees up to your chest and pull them up towards you and take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Bring both feet flat, roll over your left side and just let your spine settle. Move this out of the way and gently Bring yourself up to a seated position. Let's raise our arms up overhead. Inhale and exhale. Inhale up and exhale. Good job. I'll see you guys next week.